Hey guys, what is going on? It is iAppleGeek3 and today I am back with another top 10 tweaks list for iOS 9.3.3. Now I am a little sick so do bear with me as I try to make this video. Today of course I'll be using my iPhone SE to demonstrate that these tweaks do work on iPhones. Now I don't know if they work on the iPads, I haven't personally tested them on an iPad so do keep that in mind. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now the first tweak on this list is a tweak called MP Reel, I think. <laughs> but what it does is it allows you to customize the application suggestions in your app switcher. As you guys can see, I have it set to GBA for iOS. And on the lock screen, you can see down here is GBA for iOS as well. Normally, this will be like a, some random application that's determined by your location or what other devices you are around. But this tweak allows you to customize what these apps are. In my opinion, this is a really nice tweak. Now the next tweak is within the Messages app, and this is a really cool tweak in my opinion. This tweak is called Kairos. Now this tweak actually adds a couple of functions. You can access these by pressing and holding on the send button after you've typed a message. This menu will show up. The first one is the scheduling. This is really cool. I can schedule for when this message will be sent. So let me just go ahead and set this to one minute ahead, and I'll wait a minute, and I'll be right back. And there it is. That is really awesome. Now, the second part of this tweak is the ability to switch the service with which you send the message. You know, when the bubbles are green and when they're blue, just hold down and hit the switch service and it will send it as a text message instead of an iMessage. Come on, Apple, this is a really fundamental feature here. All right, so we know the home card in the multitasking pane is really useless. Well, Swipe Home will allow you to add an extra function. When you swipe up on it, all of your applications will be dismissed. Pretty simple tweak. Now the next tweak I have for you guys is called Clio. This basically enhances your control center and it basically makes it look like the iOS 10 version of control center where you have cards that you can swipe back and forth. The only complaint I have about this tweak is when adjusting brightness, it can be a little difficult to grab the grabber because it's in a different position and the screen doesn't recognize it all the time. But normally it works pretty well and uh, all of your functions will work the same and it seems to be compatible with a lot of control center tweaks. Also in general it just looks really nice so if you like a control center replacement this is the tweak for you. You guys probably noticed this earlier but I have a tweak in here that modified the send button. Look it's a little rocket how cute is that? This tweak is called flyer and in the settings pane you can control which image goes over your send button when you apply this tweak. After you select this in settings, all you have to do is go ahead and kill the messages app and then go back into it. Then your send button will apply. Now you may be wondering, where did my control center toggle for night shift go? Well, usually it would be there except I have Nuke CC night shift installed on my device and it does exactly what the name says. It gets rid of that extra toggle in your control center and it makes it look a lot more normal. Next up we have Emojiant or Emojiant and it basically makes the emojis in your messages thread super big. That's right, I didn't say huge this time. This is yet another iOS 10 feature we see here on iOS 9. Now towards the beginning of this video I did show my lock screen and you may be wondering how I got this look. This is thanks to LockShot. This tweak will take a screenshot of your device every time you lock your device and allow you to basically see through your lock screen in a blurred manner. And when you unlock your device, it will basically look like where you left off. So if I go into the YouTube app, it's very red and the lock screen is indeed very red. This is a pretty neat little tweak, although it does seem to have a significant effect on battery life. It's not much, but you can definitely tell that there's a difference. So do keep that in mind. Now this next tweak is for those of you who don't like to have a password on your device. So this tweak is called Always Touch. What this allows you to do is use Touch ID to unlock your device even if you don't have a password enabled. So if you like to increase your unlock speed, this is the tweak for you. This last tweak will extend 3D Touch functionality because it will let you lock an application using your fingerprint. This is called 3D App Lock. It enables a lock button when you 3D touch on an app and you can unlock it using the same method. 
this is a fantastic free alternative to BioProtect. And of course, you can do this for all applications, not just the default applications. That is so cool. You can have a 3D touch gesture for unsupported applications and have the ability to secure them with your fingerprint at the same time. And now for the bonus tweaks. Now we know jailbreaking can allow you to add many new features to your device, but it can also remove some features. Here's one. This is called no lock bounce. Now what this does is to remove that annoying bounce when you tap on the lock screen. This is great if you're using a lock screen replacement or theme. And it also looks like they removed this in iOS 10. Apple must have thought it was dumb to have it bounce when you tapped on the screen. Now I like to use free apps and free apps often have a lot of ads in them. Sometimes these ads can redirect you to the app store without your permission. No app store redirect prevents that redirect to the app store. Hence the name of this tweak. Go check it out. And finally we have delete forever. This will add a permanently delete option for when you tap on the trash can on a photo in your photos app. So this will bypass it going into the recycle bin and sitting there for a month before it gets deleted. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this list of iOS 9 tweaks. If you guys did, don't forget about that big thumb that is below this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, be sure to do so. And if you do subscribe, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.